Here we need to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of a line given this equation and it looks like this one's in standard form. So I think the easiest way to approach this is to know that the x-intercept is where y equals 0 and the y-intercept is where x equals 0. So what we can actually do to find the x-intercept is put in 0 for y. If we do that, 7x plus 4 times 0 equals negative 11. Well, this whole chunk just disappears. We have 7x equals negative 11. And we can solve for x here. And we get x equals negative 11 sevenths. That is our x-intercept. And you can do the same thing to find the y-intercept, put in 0 for x. So if you did that, this term would disappear. And we just have 4y equals negative 11. Divide both sides by 4, you'd get negative 11 fourths for your y-intercept.